Welcome everyone, this is Audrey for the Matrix Oracle and this is your new moon in Capricorn reading on January 11th, 2024. You're going to want to watch this reading according to your moon sign. Yes, so for those moon readings, moon sign is recommended. We will start with the moon placement in Earth as it is a new moon in Capricorn, then followed with the water, then the air, and we end with the fire elements. So you can find the stamp timestamp in the description box or it will appear as chapters. Before we get started, please remember to like this video to support the channel to grow. And um, thank you so very much for the new followers and the ones that continue to support me through this spiritual quest and journey. All right, let's move to the reading for the moon in earth element, the collective also message for this reading. Hi, moon in earth element. So moon Virgo, moon Capricorn, moon Taurus. Let's see what we have as far as the new lunar cycle that is ahead for us in the sign of Capricorn. So I chose some Cali cards, some romance angels, and some um, dreams of Gaia, which uh, usually taps in the subconscious. I have a personal deck of cards for my all the decks that I own, and this is what came up. And I thought it was an interesting energy. Uh, speaking of self-love and romance, there's a lot of messages currently that speaks about romanticizing your own life, looking at how uh, you experience your daily life and making it uh, something romantic, something special, something worth remembering. I also chose the Kali Oracle because we have plenty of wild feminine energies activation, the dark feminine rising, this energy of... Uh, transformation, uh, empowerment, especially in this uh, new year of a Resonance 8, 2024 being this Resonance 8, where we want to develop personal power. So let's look at those cards. Let's look at Kelly. There's some kind of uh, <laughs> overcoming here as far as this new moon. Maybe there was something, if you have your uh, moon in the earth placement or just collectively for us, there's something that was revealed. There's a new version of you that wants to come and um, kind of maybe feel like it's putting down a certain ego layer. It's overcoming maybe some of the past trauma. Now, this is just feeling the card. Let's read the message. Kelly overcomes karma. Mm, we like that. Realigns us with our path when we have weird off course. Reverses the momentum of negativity and detaches draining energy cords, restoring us to full vitality. It may seem like your will is being thwarted or you are not getting what you want, but the goddess knows what she's doing. Her action will benefit you trust okay all right we gotta trust <laughs> let's trust the process and let's look at what the cards oh, ah, sorry <laughs> let's look at what it says here let go of control issues okay so this is also a collective energy and this new moon in capricorn capricorn in terms of the um, zodiac archetype of the light work, of the ascension process, is the ascension guide. It guides us how to reach enlightenment step by step. It's associated to Saturn, so it really teaches us, you know, the laws of karma, impact, action, reaction. So there's something here about this message, about karma, about... I don't know why I heard retribution. Let's see what, what, what that means here. This could be the one. What an interesting pairing. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And this one said, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay. I feel that some of you, there's, there's 
if you have this moon in an earth element, seems that this new cycle with this one, one, one energy, okay, with the new moon being on this January 11th, okay, an awakening, there's an awakening of maybe some of the past chords, now there's a lot of lotus energy, so maybe there's a reemergence of a version of you that comes from the darkest place, the darkest time, but it's telling you to let go, let go so the goddess can intervene and clear up some of the things that need to be cleared up. All right, let's see what else. So we have here the body and mind that came in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Can you see enough? Let's see. I'm going to come closer because we will pull some more cards. That's what I like to do, the tarot cards. After destiny. Wow. You know what? It just feels like divine intervention. This feels like this. It, it's said here, you know, if you weird off course. So collectively... And for the ones that have a moon and earth in particular, there's a realignment. You know what? Let me read this to you. I was trying to get the inspiration for the reel that I was going to create around the new moon. I have the people, have the background, have the music. Still have to work on the quote. But something that I captured that just stood out. Okay, it's here. But do you see here? Hustle is crossed, a line. Let me read this to you. Destroy the idea that you have to be constantly working or grinding in order to be successful. Oh, I got chills all over my legs, especially the right. Embrace the concept that rest, recovery, and reflection are essential parts of the progress towards a successful and ultimately happy life mm -hmm. 444 yeah <laughs> oh my lord wow okay so that's going to be your number for the next 28 cycles if you have that placement or just collectively this is an alignment number of synchronicity that is speaking of letting go and letting god trusting that our destiny is going to manifest, that we can rest. And with a calm nervous system, we actually attract more easily the things that are meant for us. King of Earth. I don't know why, but I feel like I want to put... That's interesting because this could be the one, the Earth. This is an Earth new moon. This is for the moon, the Earth element placement this this could be the one this is a, it's almost saying that you've always been the one the ultimate one that you've been seeking and that's your true success the sage wow some of you it just appeared like number seven could be also a, a, a lucky number to you it could be um, some synchronicity as well. It just feels like maybe a life path. Maybe you have a life path seven or you just have sevens in your birth date, in your birth time. It feels aligned here with something really crucial. All right. Let's see what we have with the tarot cards for the next layer, shall we? Oh, you know what? Mm -mm. I had heard this before, and I did not take it into account. This is my deck for my frequency healing. And when I was getting ready for this reading, I heard that I would get more messages from the frequency. Yes, you can use it as an alignment, to this message, but I heard that I was meant to channel this before. 
going into the conclusion. All right, those two. Yin frequency healing. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I'll put them there. And the large intestine frequency, allowing worthiness and self-love. In um, traditional Chinese medicine, linked and connected to the zodiac, the large intestine is connected to the Taurus zodiac sign. This is interesting. It almost feels as if, if you have a moon earth placement natally, that it's calling you to trust more of your divine feminine energy to travel through you and especially releasing any blocks connected to your self-worth and self-love. Maybe especially for the ones if you have had in the past or even currently trying to let go of that pattern of um, putting your focus outside of yourself and maybe focusing on love outside of yourself. It's saying, bring it back home. Bring it back to this king. And especially with this energy, it, it's, it's calling a manifestation. It's calling a manifestation of your destiny. But there's something here as far as the body and the mind. And I just happened to put it above the, this could be the one. Remember we mentioned that you are always the one that you're truly seeking. This part of you that others reflect and are helping you to develop, to awaken. Wow, what a beautiful message. I feel that if you're watching this, you had to um, transmute a lot of karma. Maybe you had signed up for, you know, a particular a mission or uh, breaking the chains of an ancestral lineage that carried a lot of karma. Let's see what we can get now through those cards. So five of swords in reverse, maybe some mental uh, struggle could have been part of maybe some of you suffering from mental health due to trying to hustle, realizing, remember with that message, realizing that now you can relax and let go and let God, let your divine destiny come through. You, especially with the scene, activating more your feminine, mutable energy that can transform karma, just like Kali, that can help you transmute instead of trying to figure out with your mind and body what to do, what to uh, figure out, you know, and just let more of the wisdom, ancestral wisdom, because if you came to break a chain, okay, break a chain of control, break a chain of karma, you also have inherited a lot of the wisdom that would allow you to be successful. So now we've talked about this, so we can put it upright. And eight of swords. So a lot of swords. Um, I don't know why, but I want to mention those dates. If some of you have born... In 58, 1958, or in 85. But that doesn't have to be. But it just feels relevant for some reason. This is mental prison. This is self-inflicted, you know, worrying. It could be that we're also um, suffering from whatever we've heard that people said of us. You know, gossip, slander any type of energies that were outside that we're carrying inside, but we're breaking free. This is just a powerful moment. If you have this moon in an earth element, so if your moon is 
in Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, this new moon in the sign of Capricorn is helping you release karma, is helping you release the survival mode, is releasing you from the worry and the mental prison. It's releasing you from looking for love outside of yourself. And it's bringing you more groundness, more calmness, a more restful nervous system, a letting go and shedding of the old self that didn't believe they were the one or they could achieve this or that. This new moon is allowing you to be more in alignment. This is really strong because when I saw this little post uh, looking to illustrate this energy, I felt it. I felt it. I was like, this is, this is an alignment. And this is because you're wise. You're not only wise from your experience on this earth with this life, but from many past lives from also paying attention to what other people's say, do. You know, you have a certain reflection. This is why some of you look at your life path. Maybe you're number seven. There are certain things that you've learned that are wise beyond your years, okay? So definitely an exciting cycle of 28 days where you're becoming more aligned because you're really seeing karma, you're really seeing mental prisons, blockages, self-talk that was negative or conditioned into expecting negative turns of events so you can align more with your destiny, so you can allow the flow of your feminine energy to come into embodiment, to come into fruition. All right, this is what I have for you earth element thank you so very much if you need support i do have some wild feminine energy readings currently i still have a promotion for natal charts i have plenty of charts that i offer you can look at those details in the description box thank you so very much namaste if you have your natal moon in a water sign, so this reading is for the new moon in Capricorn, for people with their moon in Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Let's see what we have for you. So we have some Cali cards. Let's look, just look at the pictures first. Calling in your soulmate. Kim reversed, honeymoon, and re read a little bit more. The six of cups or water feels very romantic so far. Of course, with the water. <laughs> the five of water, five and six. The four of fire and the crone in the reverse. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, if, by the way, if you'd like to learn about the collective energy for this new moon, you can watch the earth element because this is a new moon in, um, in Capricorn. Interestingly, Capricorn uh, or the earth element had the wise, the sage here, but it was upright. So let's see here. It seems that there's some lesson. There's some lesson that needs to be grasped and that needs to be harnessed into something greater. Something that's going to serve you. Something that Actually, I feel that your feminine, your wise, old, sacred feminine energy knows. And there might be some type of struggle to come through. All right. Let's see what we have in terms of frequency, which was interesting because I was called 
when I was preparing this reading, I felt that I needed to look at the frequencies before um, getting to the bottom of this energy. All right. Might be another one, but let's look at first. Ooh, removing X's and X's. This is part of the YouTube membership. Oh, inner wisdom activation. Also the membership. This is why I felt the third one. Ooh, all right, cleansing and strengthening. Okay, all right. This is why, this room moving X's and X's. Let me explain to you this energy. When I created this, this was Scorpio season, I remember. Um, there was a lot of eighth house energy in the air with the planet's placement, uh, how the moon was interacting. X's, obviously we know what that is. X's, which is more like a curse. I want to explain to you what is a curse. A curse is really a repetition of a pattern that makes you believe that the outcome of a certain energy will always lead you to the same result, okay? So that means when we feel cursed, oh, I will never get there. We're actually cursing ourselves because there's something that made us feel this way and we associated the result as a state, like an eternal state. But that's not the case. It is part of a lesson. It is part of something that you have to learn to understand why it's coming into this full circle. Which is interesting, again, because the collective message was about resolving karma and ending those cycles and literally having divine intervention. Um, so I feel this is important for you as far as clearing your space, clearing whatever this cycle, this new moon in Capricorn is bringing a new field of creation. At least that's what it wants for you. And I feel this is interesting because I, before I even read this card, which I'm, I'm feeling maybe it's some of you, that the energy is a little bit all over the place. Like, mm-hmm. And with this focus card here, with this four of fire that wants unity, that wants to bring inner wisdom, that wants to bring everything that you've learned and everything that you've lost. It seems that it wants you to focus more on the things that you've gained even through the loss because you've gained wisdom and this is where I feel now I can put it upright. Everything that you've lost has also given you in return, especially with those golden fish. I feel Christ consciousness energy. It was meant to happen for you to reactivate some love from the past, a capacity for love that is almost unmatched. Maybe some of you, there is going to be someone that you're going to meet through this cycle, if that's relevant to you. Because it feels as if there's something that wants to come your way. It wants to come your way. It's traveling to you already. But the way to allow this to come forward is making sure that you go through the process of clearing the space of the old, of the things that you've experienced and may have caused, you know, grief or anything that is in lower vibration, that you shift it into wisdom, actively shift it to wisdom. So it can open the gateway for something that has been meant and destined for you. And that was part of the collective reading as far as destiny. But here it feels almost with the water element, 
that this could be even more than just, you know, a purpose, a mission. There could be someone in particular. There could be something you've wanted to manifest in terms of romance, in terms of love dynamic. Now, finally, I can feel that I can move to this card, the Kali um, Oracle. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, just, just the first words. To receive your divine inheritance of blessings and support for sacred fulfillment. Certain karmic conditions wow, that resonate at a lower frequency need to be cleared. Kurukula, which is this expression of Kali, signifies a time of rapid movement, I told you, on your path, and freedom to attract what you want and need. Let go of that which does not belong in your world. Release and you shall receive. Wow, amazing. It just feels, <laughs> I am actually glad I ended with this because this was a summary of everything that we saw here. Everything that we saw here. Almost as if you're being called to review, okay? Very important. And I want to give you the insight because the collective message, obviously I've heard it. <laughs> um, there's a need to release control and align, release the survival mode and welcome the thriving momentum of life. And that means doing less by becoming more, more attuned to who you truly are, resting more, knowing and trusting that things align in divine perfect time, but also because it's a frequency. And if you're feeling blocked, and for you especially, uh, water moons, your aura. Because the water is just, it's, you know, the water element, I always think of the aquarium and how fish react to just you touching, you know, the water. You can feel it right away, the slight shift. You're able to recognize slight shift shift around you. Now, I want you to pay attention that you're not feeling that this shift is actually yours. You have to recognize what's yours and what's not. All right. So definitely work with your aura. Okay. And some of you, if you are YouTube members, then work with the inner wisdom activation and the removing X's and X's. If you are a YouTube premium, okay, to remove and skipping the ads, you don't have, you're paying monthly for this, you are being offered a free month for my uh, memberships. All right, let's see what we have here. Knight of Cups, healing coming your way. Definitely coming your way. The High Priestess, use your intuition there's healing, there's healing in what, there's sacred healing in the process that we described. It's as if you're, you're being called to, remember when I said that everything is all over the place? It's not just like maybe some of you, you literally have to reorganize your life, you know, put things in order. But I feel that if you're at a level where you physically need to do this, you probably also have this need in the physical material reality and emotional and intellectual in order to really empower yourself. Yes, king of wands, because you have something that is waiting for you. Something is waiting for you. Something also could be in your chart, particularly being activated at this time. So if that's something that you're interested in, I do have currently a promotion for the natal chart reading. And I do have a wild energy reading uh, that's been very popular if you're feeling that you're being activated in your sacred um, ancient 
goddess energy, okay? Especially with those goddess energy here. Uh, there's one more card. It came in reverse because it's, it's truly calling you um, water moons to do this work in order to shift, okay? You, you, you really want to honor this because when you honor this work, you honor yourself. And when you honor yourself, the universe responds in ways that you can't even imagine. It is going to propel you. You're going to enter a new cycle. This new moon is meant to start a new cycle. And to start a new cycle, you want to make sure that you have your, uh, almost like everything aligned, everything ready, whether it's in your finances, whether it's in your life, your, your environment, you know, have your head clear and stay, you know, loving, accept also I'm hearing the love from the divine. Let me see if you have, there's something I have on my phone for you and I can't, you know what, I'm going to read to you in case you're not listening to the earth element, what I really felt was in alignment. You see here it says hustle, it's crossed out, align. Destroy the idea that you have to be constantly working or grinding in order to be successful. Embrace the concept that rest, recovery, and reflection are essential parts of the progress towards a successful and ultimately happy life. So this is how I want to end this reading for you, my dear moon, water moons, okay? Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Thank you so very much. And if you need, again, personal guidance, all the details are in the description box. Namaste. Air moon. So if you have your moon in Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, this is your reading for this new moon in Capricorn on January 11th, 2024. So let's look at this image from the Kali Oracle deck. And we'll read it after. Free yourself. Finances and career. You had three cards here. The upper ones had two so far. And keep an open mind. Hmm. I'm not going to say anything even though I'm starting to receive it. It's funny because I feel that could be something for some of you, you know, uh, don't say anything, otherwise you're going to jinx it, um, or speaking too early about a success. Queen of Water. Emotions. Oh, I feel this just, ah, I don't know why. I just felt relief and release, like I needed to excel out. The two of fire or wands. And the king of fire. Wow. A lot of yellow solar energy and blue also it could be that you're watching this for your moon and it that message would be even more powerful if you are a cancer sun or a leo sun okay just just for some of you, if you <laughs> like to work with those little synchronicities. But again, that's very narrow-minded. Uh, narrow what? <laughs> that's narrowing this reading and doesn't have to be. Narrow-mindedness. What are you being narrow-minded about? I love when this happens. I just feel like sometimes my mouth is just not in control. <laughs> Please control her. Doesn't know what she's saying. All right. Now we're going to channel the frequencies earlier than I usually do. Because those are also going to give us some insights. Oh, there's two in there. 
I feel, yeah. All right. Oh, gallbladder frequency, allowing gratitude and decisive action. Astral body and healing activation. Hmm, the emotions. Gallbladder. The gallbladder, if I'm not mistaken, is from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. on the body clock. Some of you, if you have moments, if that's the time where you feel, I've, it's weird. If that's the time, I feel that some of you, let me, let me know in the comments if that's some of you, because I'm feeling such some someone or some people here with this moon air placement as if there's could be a pattern to make sure to remind you to go earlier in bed. OK, because that's that's not late, late. I mean, but that's pretty late. Um, because if you're missing that earlier wave of sleep of rest this organ is not getting the proper rest it's not getting the proper relaxation which is a big message for this new moon and i'll read this to you because this is a new moon in capricorn so if you want to watch the collective energy you can watch the earth element but there was this um, little quote or little thing that I found on Pinterest and, and it stood out so strongly I had to take a picture. And it shows this hustle being crossed and says a line and says here, destroy the idea that you have to be constantly working or grinding in order to be successful. Embrace the concept that rest, recovery and reflection are essential parts of the progress towards a successful and ultimately happy life. Okay? And this is something that I feel is important for you because maybe some of you, you're staying up late or you're overworking, especially with the finances and career, because you feel that there's no other way to manifest and attract that income. But it seems that it could be some emotional, some emotional pattern you haven't resolved yet. And we're going to see here uh, what Callie has to offer as a guidance. Ah. Check your boundaries. Check your boundaries. Okay. So check your boundaries and affirm your right to express and receive both kindness and respect. Embrace your softer side and your ability to stand up for yourself. You are a unique being and you do not need to conform to stereotypes. As you relax into your authentic self, the best method to accomplish what is needed shall spontaneously arise from within, from within, it, you hold the answers, but when you let others, maybe I feel as some of you, maybe you're overworking because of your empath empathy and the way maybe you let others maybe play some mental game with you. Maybe making you feel guilty or make you carry their um, feelings towards whatever you're not doing enough or whatever they're struggling. And that's why you have to create more, uh, you know, overworking, overstretching your energy. But it's saying here, you don't have to do all this. And this new moon is going to spark a new cycle, spark it spark some of you i have to say it because it could be for someone so it has to be mentioned there could be some type of um person 
It could be a fire sign or it could be a water sign. You could be the fire sign or you could be the water sign and vice versa. But there's something with this partnering. But it could be also that the message is around a particular person that is stepping on your boundaries. Okay? I'm trying to narrow it for everyone. Now let's pull some tarot cards to get a little bit more about this energy for this new moon. A new cycle of empowerment for you. New actions. De those decisive action. I should have even put it inspired action. Because this is coming from the divine. The gallbladder is connected to the wood element. And the wood element is the ether. Now, interestingly, if you're so each organs of the 12 organs are also associated to a zodiac sign. The gallbladder is Aquarius. So if you have an Aquarius moon, this is even stronger message for you. And let's see what we have as far as more messages for my air moons here in Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. All right. We have seven of swords. Yeah. <sighs> I can feel that. I can feel that. I can feel that you know that. Do you see this is someone sneaking out? This is getting, getting away with murder. This is doing purposely something we know that is hurtful and still doing it. Trying to find a shortcut also. So if anyone is treating you this way, my dear air moons, please make sure that you remove this energy. Remove it. It's on your free yourself energy. Free of pentacles. Don't worry about your finances. Some of you, if it's in the workplace, trust and ask, request the universe a new job. Request an, a change in this environment and in this, um, in this pattern because you're going to get it. You're going to be supported. Work with those frequencies definitely to help you. Go to bed earlier so you can allow, especially the gallbladder, make sure you're in bed before 11 so you can start the cycle of rest so you can process some of maybe, you know, having gratitude for already what you have and not being focused of whatever you're being told that you're lacking. I don't know for who that is, but someone is definitely connected here with this energy. Someone that is being told they're not doing enough or they're not enough. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so upset right now. <laughs> if you haven't... Like, and you know what is funny? It's like, I know this type of upset. I'm upset, but I'm so calm. It's like, it's so upsetting, but yet I'm so calm. And to me, I would tell you, like from my past with trauma... Uh, when I was in this space, sometimes I had a hard time getting upset because it would lead to worse consequences. So I, I really want you, if that's your case as well, because I had to transmute that and work through that. Um, work with the astral body healing because that's helping you to heal the uh, emotional body. Some of you, if you don't know about your draconic chart, because the dragon is here and uh, the astral body is here, this is, a, it's not, it's off your natal chart, but it's connected to the moon. And the way it's weaved into the moon, it's not the same placement. For example, I'm a Scorpio sun, but in my weaving, in my draconic, I'm a Gemini sun. And that changes the way that I'm connected to my physicality, to my physical body. And I saw that, like, I started making sense to myself when I looked how my emotional body was connected to my physical body. Okay, I do have a promotion for the month of January 2024 for this. You can look at the details down below. But definitely, there is some something about how you're connected to your emotions and maybe what you've endured in the past that needs to be released, 
okay? Yes! You have a great new adventure ahead, okay? So if you're watching this and this hits home, you're definitely being supported because you found this message, number one. But number two, you're getting this as a final card. That means that you, you, you may have just been just waiting for this message to align. Or maybe it's your chart that was needed to be at that specific day too. It's going to be 111, okay, January 11. And it needed that specific alignment to put a certain timeline into motion. There was a duality inside of you. And I feel as some of you, there's going to be a wild feminine activation energy because it's almost like a part is remember when I said I'm so upset and I can't I, I, but yet I'm so cool it's like some people they have to start seeing that side of you that side that that can get angry or that can get just you know very um powerful about their boundaries because enough is enough I feel that some of you you may have not put your foot down because you were scared maybe of your finances you were scared of rejection. You were scared of what was could be said. And also because maybe you didn't think something greater could come. But you deserve better. This definitely is something that, you know, is, is telling you from this card that your authentic self is going to lead the way. I do have a wild feminine energy reading. It's been very powerful, very activating. And everyone that actually wants this reading, they pick it and they're going through the activation. So trust your intuition. That's what I want to end this uh, for you, um, Air Moons. Trust your intuition. Trust what you felt through this reading. Trust in your ability to move through blockages just with sound. You are a vibrational being. You know, air is just so subtle. It's just so subtle how you connect to the universe, especially with this moon quality, with this moon character of it, you know? So that's what I have for you. I trust this is supporting you because you have a lot of empowerment, something great or something new, and this is the new cycle of you discovering what that could be. All right? Thank you so very much. Namaste. Fire moons, this is your new moon in Capricorn reading. So if your natal moon is in Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, this message is for you. If you want a collective message, this is the earth element, okay? So let's look first. Let's first look. Whoa, <laughs> my dyslexia is already acting up. Uh, the card. Okay, so maybe there's something about order because I just happened to reverse words. Let's see what this card says. Dakshina Kali, which is interesting because I've had different orders of reading or putting those cards, and it's almost like it was telling me to do things differently and start with this message. All right, let's do this. She appears fierce, and yet she is benign. Her oracle brings the message that a situation which may frighten or intimidate you is well within your capacity to handle. No matter how dramatic or intense a situation may appear to be at this time, it shall eventually be little more than a passing memory and not have any negative bearing upon your future. Okay. I feel like I want to look at it, admire it. It might be a call with this new moon to contemplate a little bit more than usual on what you set out yourself to manifest for this new cycle of 28 days. If you want to read this, you can pause. All right, let's see what else. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. You know what I'm hearing here? 
whatever may worry you or frighten you, this is something you've already done, already mastered, already conquered, okay? This is so interesting. Maybe there's a repetition from the universe for you to really um, get deeper into the layer of that lesson. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. It came in reverse, but I feel... I want to keep it upright because I want to help you right away by saying you got this. Especially when it's said dramatic. And I, <laughs> I remember that, you know, we're in the fire sign. So it <laughs> drama kind of have, reminds me a little bit of Leo, but all fire sign has that quality Obviously, the fire element has a very dramatic uh, quality in it. So it's calling me to tell you, like, watch not to put fire, more fire, more energy, especially into the negative or the things you don't want to spiral onto a situation um, that right now, as you're entering this new moon, there's something that is being resolved. Now, this was part of the collective reading. This karma that has been ended. This is divine intervention. Things are moving through you so you can conclude all of this and really take upon a new direction as far as your destiny because we had the destiny card, a very powerful card. Um, I feel that I'm being called for you to... Um, Suggest looking at your life path and what that number's life path means, okay? New love. Oh, I love this. I so love this. Look at this because it's really spoke of, you know, this new moon. And maybe as you're entering this new moon, there was a lot of things that may have looked like it was similar challenges, but it says you have the quality from a past experience and you may have also more support, whether it's support from your feminine, masculine within or from a relationship that allows you to manifest something greater, something greater in that relationship, but something greater also as an outcome, as an outcome for yourself. Union. Wow. Beautiful quality of yin yang being called. And you know what? This is interesting because it's just here and I wanted to put it upright because I want you to give yourself a chance through this new cycle. Yes, there might be some things that, uh, you know, spark uh, almost like maybe a trauma response or a stress response. You've been in that situation. Maybe some of you might be, you're going through a change. It could be a change of job. It could be a change of location of your home, uh, a stern transition of your life and say, you got this desire. I don't know why it entails. And I want to keep it reversed for that purpose because it was reversed. Well, let me see this. The three of earth, three of pentacles. Oh, wow. And the ace of wands or ace of fire. <sighs> Breathe. You and I think water had that. I needed to breathe. Breathe. Let's look at the frequencies now. It's something that I was guided when I was preparing for this reading and just came into my mind that I needed the frequency as almost like a, as an oracle, you know? Your subconscious mind. This is one of my favorite frequency. I sleep with this every night. I love this. The... The mathematical frequency alignment that I use in this is from the movie Inception. So I do describe some of it. Um, but some of you, if you haven't watched Inception, or maybe that's something you want to re-watch, there might be a new message for you. I do feel there's another one. 
Ooh, activate psychic boundaries. Okay. All right. You know what's interesting? Yeah, I can feel that strongly. I feel that some of you, okay, let's say you're going through a change, and maybe you've gone through many changes, and this is a change that, you, like, okay, some if it's a move, for example, uh, probably TR that you've already gone through a move, but what what is saying is that this repetition of a certain change around you, in you, okay, because it's creating, it seems, some type of maybe turmoil, okay? What I'm feeling the most is that you could be still surrounded by maybe family members, um, you know, old friends, you know, people that are from that past. And to watch that those energies that ties you to the past and the difficulty, and that made it maybe more dramatic, protect yourself. <clears throat> wow. Watch also the self-talk. Watch also the invasive intrusion of what you could feel those people would say about this current situation. Okay? Let's get some tarot cards. Okay, I, I got this here that I want to talk about. With this Three of Pentacles, you know, the Three of Pentacles is usually a partnership with the Divine. And in one of my Spirit Animal deck, the squirrel is believe in yourself. Believe in the seeds that you've planted. Believe in all the efforts that you've put through this life to manifest and learn all that you've manifested and learn because this is where I see the desire remember a part of your soul a sacred soul a sacred desire beyond what the eye can see that you wanted to learn this you wanted to learn partnership with the universe you wanted to learn maybe partnership also with someone physically you know special love you wanted to learn a different type of union a different type of love a union with the sacred the union that is sacred a sacred union a sacred desire something that is wow <laughs> wow as i'm saying this the moon has moved into capricorn Wow, just now, as I'm channeling this, did you see how it made like this little magic entrance? So there's something that you may have wanted to learn about the magic. In this, you know, this inception, it works in the subconscious, how we dream a reality and bring it into physicality. So this is what needed to be mention is that whatever you're going through those changes those turmoils those you know reactivation or maybe certain pattern they're here to bring a new level of union within and without and with the universe and it's going to be eased in greater ways especially when you remember that's something you wanted to learn that's something that you wanted to put into motion Learn and apply. Yeah, I feel better now that <laughs> I said all this. All right, let's get some more tarot cards for you, Fire Moons. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries Moon. Five of Swords. That was part also of the cards for the Earth, so the collective message. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Interesting in, in this particular alignment. The Six of Swords. And the Four of Swords. Okay, this is where I feel that message 
that I read for everyone, but you just yet needs to come through. This is something I happened to find on Pinterest and it really stood out. Hustle crossed a line. Destroy the idea that you have to be constantly working or grinding in order to be successful. Embrace the concept that rest, recovery, and reflection are essential parts of the progress towards a successful and ultimately happy life. Okay. So I feel that, you know, part of this is what we said as far as maybe you're facing in the cycle or entering this new moon, certain situation that stressed you or worried you in the past. Maybe there were some um, difficulties to find support with others, with family, especially with this, you know, uh, boundaries. Maybe there was no support. There was no um, give and take. Um, no reciprocity was the word that I was looking for in the past. But now you're entering a phase where you are starting to understand that those challenges, they were meant for you to find a greater union with yourself first, with the universe, and maybe also through someone supportive of that process. This, this gentleman here uh, stood out a lot with the orange. Maybe you wanted to um, learn through love also. Now, there was things that needed to be removed. Some of you might have been for the last full moon, which was that full moon in Cancer, in opposition to Capricorn, uh, December 26. There might have been some things that you needed to walk away from. Maybe some beliefs about yourself, about maybe also some desires. Because collectively, there was a lot of um, messages, and especially with the Four of Swords, it's confirming this, to let go and let God. Trust. Trust how the things are just unfolding and um, how it's really always meant to align you with what's greater for you. Because ultimately, life wants to support life. It wants you to thrive because when you thrive, everything thrives around you. And the planet thrives, the universe thrives, every, the, the human race evolves in a way that thrives. So there's something here, and I don't know why, but I'm being called to mention it because this position is probably a week, you know, a few days, four days, few a week later, so four to six days, seven days after this uh, new moon. So probably expect maybe around January, you know, between the 14th and the 18th, something like this, um, something new, something new, something that is almost gifted by the divine. I have no idea what I'm saying that, <laughs> Just, <laughs> but I feel it. it's almost, okay, it's under the seeds. As you allow yourself to rest and trust and work through maybe some of your own subconscious blockages, make sure that you have clear boundaries, as you walk away from the things that you feel are not in alignment with you anymore, this new moon, this new cycle, already within that first week, is going to show you results. It's going to have an offer for you because that's also, uh, you know, this energy of something that gets sparked. This Ace of Wands. This is like this energy. It could be a Kundalini activation. Some of you it could be a rush of energy. You could have more energy. That has been granted to you. So definitely, uh, my dear fire moons, as you are entering this 28-day cycle, take um, into consideration all that we've mentioned. Give yourself the tools to stay in alignment with your intuition and watch how your rational, your mind is looping. Don't let it spiral in past negative thinking. Allow it to move into a new, greater version that shows that 
you've learned how to partner up with the universe. That's all I have for you. Thank you so very much. And if you need personal guidance, I do have promotions for natal charts and I have also wild feminine energies or even just oracles for any message you want me to channel for you or just a question. Thank you so very much. Namaste.